Hey viewers, it's Dave Osity, and we are here with Downfall. Um, this is a not very well-known game, but um, this is actually the first game that uh, the same creator who created the Cat Lady. Um, he made this game, and it was a few years ago, I think. Um, I don't know, I have to look it up, but... This story actually involves two of the characters that are in the Cat Lady, uh, Joe and Ivy Davis, so... Um, I don't want to spoil anything in the Cat Lady, but if you guys remember Joe Davis, he's a pretty uh, <laughs> interesting character in the, in, the, in the game, to say the least. And uh, I believe the events in this game take place before the Cat Lady, so... Um, we get to find out perhaps exactly why Joe is the way he is and what actually happened to Ivy. So, um, yeah, there's no dialogue, um, there's no voiceovers in this game, it's all text. Um, so, my commentary for this game will be a little different. I'm, I'm not actually going to be doing uh, very much commentary. I may comment uh, probably at the beginning or maybe at the end of each episode. I'm not sure. But um, I'll just be basically reading out the dialogue to you as I go through the game. So let's do this. Great. The storm is coming. Joe, are we home yet? Where are we? Joe? They're coming. They're coming for you. Come on, Ivy. Just get out of the car, alright? But Joe, can't you see what's happening? We're falling down. Falling into the endless space. Like drops of blood. It's all right, Ives. I'm going to find a doctor very soon. At least as soon as I find a way out of this town. There's got to be someone in this hotel. Maybe we'll stay for the night and call the doctor. It's raining blood, Joe. How beautiful. Come with me, Ivy. They might be able to help us. I have blood all over my dress, Joe. What will I do? My dear, dear dress. Do you think it's okay if I just lay down? Move character using keyboard arrows by left. Nice. Some areas like doors, etc., can only be accessed by clicking on them. Left mouse buttons interact. Walk right mouse button. Examine. Okay. Yep. Stop. Car. I cannot leave now. Okie doke. Quiet Haven. Hotel. That name is familiar. Okay. Garden. There's a small garden at the back of the hotel. Oops. Let's go inside. 
So you're telling me I can't buy cigarettes here? That's ridiculous. I thought all hotels sell them. And now, in that storm, I won't even find any shop still open. I'm really sorry. We have a specific smoking policy, and it's not allowed on the premises. Whoa, screw your policy. I'm a paying customer. I will check out in the morning and find a better hotel. Um... One that sells cigarettes if guests run out. I hope you sleep well tonight. Okay. Well, she's upset. It's the front door. Okay, thanks. Memo. What's the memo say? Re cat in reception. All guests are advised to keep their room keys away from our cat, Lucifer, as it's been known to eat them. A cat that eats keys. It's a funny old cat, and this strange habit is something we have no control over. We've already lost room 102's key this way. There have been other keys in the past, but those we luckily managed to retrieve. We sincerely apologize for any inconvenience caused by this management. Hmm. Clock. Clock looks like the one always... What? Clocks... What? Clocks like this one always hold sinister secrets. Okay. The little door on the clock is locked tight. Hmm. A perfect example of what you can find in small towns, art galleries. Leaflets. Nah, I hate leaflets. Uh, what? Uh, uh, I don't really feel like refurbishing this hallway. Okay. But, aha, menu. Thought I saw something different. Dead. Dead plant. Someone hasn't watered this plant for about 20 years. Okay. It's already dead. The cause of death, dehydration. Time of death, many, many years ago. Okay. What is it in the... Ah, oh, it's in the inventory. Can we read it? It's a menu for the hotel's dining room. Okie doke. Hmm. Now oh, ring the bell, I guess. Hello. I guess talk receptionist. Hello. Hello, sir. Um no, 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 no. Yeah, why not? Let's hear about the town first, I guess. This town looks so empty. Where's everybody gone? All the tourists are gone this time of the year. And people who live here don't go out much. They tend to stay out of trouble and mind their own business.
A stormy night like this probably reminds them of what happened in this town ten years ago. I can see the true faces of the dead. Mother Mary, don't let me fall. What happened then? Well, it was on the news all over the country. The local man who lost his mind killed five people with an axe. Wow. The press called him the Devonshire Axe Man. In a small town like this, Yes, he decapitated five locals in one night, and... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you two. It's really a lovely town apart from that. Uh-huh. And obviously the Devonshire Axeman had been caught and given a life sentence. Nothing to worry about now. Yeah. Okay. I see this place has got some history then. Indeed, but I'd worry more about this bloody rain if I was you. And it, it's a shame you didn't come down last year when the Black Widow Film Studio was still open. The place has been shut down. I heard rumors, but don't really understand why. Darkness. All around me. What the F are you, Joe? Whoa, where the F? Where the F are you, Joe? She doesn't see me. I'm right here, Ives. Please try to calm down, alright? I know it's not my business, but what is exactly wrong with your wife? Um... She's just a bit stressed. I apologize for all this. It's okay, I, I don't mind. Ooh, you dirty... <laughs> there are maggots crawling out of your mouth. She's seeing things. Um... My name is Joe Davis. My wife Ivy needs to see the doctor as soon as possible. I'm afraid there's nothing we can do at this time of the evening. It's a small town, you see. We have a doctor staying in room 201, though. He practically lives here. Unfortunately, I'm under strict orders not to disturb him after 10 o'clock. He can probably help your wife, so please stay tonight and talk to him tomorrow. The sun and the moon, the eternal battle of life and death. It's okay, Ivy. Just be quiet now. The anger of the devil is upon us. Can't you see that? Um, we call him Dr. Z, a German fellow. He can always, I can always call an ambulance, but in this storm, you know. I think we can wait until morning. Thank you. We'd like to rent a room for the night. You're very lucky, sir. We have one vacant room at the moment. 
beautiful view, recently refurbished. And it's got a bath. There are skeletons in the cellar, Joe. Please don't go in there. Please. Um, you all right? She's fine. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a double bed. Two singles. Is that okay for you? We'll take the room. Lovely. It's on the first floor. The hotel's got four floors altogether. I walk through the mud. My new shoes got dirt on them. Ma will be so angry. Please put it down. Put it effing down! She's nuts. I don't mean to be rude, but please go and see Dr. Z tomorrow morning if you need some pills to calm this lady down. I might do that. I'm sure he'll prescribe something. After all, don't we all get a little stressed sometimes? Well, that's the room key, room number 101. There's a lady staying in room 102 who doesn't like to be disturbed. So please keep it down, alright? I understand the circumstances, but Miss Chouvoir, Chouva, she should not be awakened. And please come down for breakfast at 8 a.m. Dining room is just down this corridor. Okay. Thanks. Um, let's check out, okay. Check out the dining room. Empty. The fallen angel. What is he thinking about? I, I don't know. The surgeon. It doesn't look like a surgeon. I wonder if the only reason this strange character is standing in the water is that the artist wasn't very good at painting legs. <laughs> you might be right. The Bass Brothers. Bass Brothers. Two chaps playing double bass. But are they really brothers? I don't know. Kitchen. Nope. No point in wandering around the restaurant. I better focus on Ivy. Ives. Uh, yeah, we need to... We need to have a serious talk when you stop hallucinating, Ivy. Four. I see four of them. Isn't that funny? Does the number four mean anything to you? No, Ivy, it doesn't. Why won't you listen to me for a minute? No, no, I must do something. I must. It's pointless. We're all dead already. Will they put white roses on my grave? Or will I rot on the bottom of the river with a rope around my neck? Whatever. I'm nothing. Always have been. I've always been just a effing nothing to you, Joe. Leave me alone. Let me go.
I can't let you go. Look at the state of you. <sighs> Look, just be quiet for a minute and follow me. But they're everywhere. They watch us. Can't you see them? Are you effing blind? If you close your eyes, you can see them too. They're waiting. They'll swallow you whole, Joe. They. They. Get away from him! Leave him alone, you goddamn... What is she looking at? They've gone now. Who's gone? I don't understand. These bad people. They live in the puddles. They live in the walls, too. They've gone now. But soon they shall return. Oh, okay. All right. Um, the, the, oh, okay. Uh, what the hell are you doing? You're acting crazy. I'm so frightened. We're all going to die. Down to the ground. Maggots all around us. Down to the ground. Into the darkness. Stop it! What's wrong with you? I saw a woman. She called my name. Over and over again. It's like a song playing in my head. Reaching deep down into the places where only mad people go. Eh, what? Dude, I... I think your wife is... is nuts. Pretty, pretty bad. Um... Oh. Well, all of these are kind of bad options. Do this one. I knew you'd spoil it. You always spoil everything. We were supposed to have a good time. Get some rest. And instead you decided to turn into an effing psycho. That's kind of mean, but yeah, she is. I know you, Joe. You are enjoying every single minute of it. If you could, you'd wrap your hands around my neck and squeeze hard. You're just the same as them. Just the same. You'd find it so easy. Joe, kill me. Kill me. Take the knife and stick it right here. This is where my heart used to be. You wouldn't know, really. You never knew. I'm so fed up. I don't need this. I know this isn't a good time to talk about it, but I've had enough. I can't even look at you right now. Is it? No, it can't be. This mirror, Joe, this mirror isn't telling the truth. It belongs to the dead. 
so it will lie, of course. That's what they do, you know. They effing lie. Honestly, Ives, I've got no idea what you're talking about. Death. I can see it clearly now. It's got our faces, Joe. Not just some pointless name, not just some nameless face. There's one for each of us. One for me. And one for you. And it's just looking at us with empty, hollow eyes. Don't talk to me anymore. Save it for the shrink. Why is the world turning black and white? Why is... Shut up. I can't stand this anymore. Just follow me and I'll try to find some help. Yeah. Well, I... Their marriage is pretty, uh, rocky. I get... Wait, did we lose our... Oh, she's right there. Woo! Okay. Thought we lost her already. Uh, first floor. Um. What? Key. It, it, okay. What's happening to me, Joe? I know something's been really wrong with my head since we left London, but... I have no control over it. <sighs> You've been saying all these strange, horrible things, Ivy. It's happened a few times before, but never like this. But I'm okay now, aren't I? I think I blacked out and I was dreaming. There was that dead fat woman in my dream who only wished to kill herself. But she couldn't do it. There was a lot of music and people, voices calling me. And in the end, there was only darkness. It was warm and safe, but it wasn't really. Well, um... Try to put your head down for a while, and in the morning we'll go downstairs to have something to eat, okay? <laughs> we might if I wake up, you mean. I'm so tired of this. It's going to be okay. That doctor will examine you tomorrow. Who? Dr. Z? Who the hell is Dr. Z? Maybe he's effing Dr. Zhivago for some other or some other movie clown. No, I don't want no effing doctor. I don't want you either. All this holiday, this bloody silly attempt to save our marriage. Let's say it loud and clear, Joe. Come on, you say it. Please, we shouldn't be too loud. That woman... Say it.
You don't know what you're talking about. I knew it. You don't have the guts to admit that we don't love each other anymore. You won't even admit that you're happy to see that there's no double bed in the room. We've grown cold, Joe. Cold as a grave. Okay, I'll say it. There is no love. Our marriage has been dead for months. Ouch. Good. So we're over the bridge now. It's not only how I feel, but how you feel as well. As soon as this is over, I'm leaving you. It's going to be better for the both of us. So that's it then? This stupid hotel is where we end it all? I... I think I need to lay down, Joe. We'll talk about it later. And don't bloody miss your breakfast. I don't care about effing breakfast! Why not? We might as well go together. Play happy family one last time. In my dreams I always visit this place. It's a place of happiness that reminds me of my childhood. No one can reach me here, and no one can hurt me. This is the battlefield on which my ancestors died with swords in their hands. This is my pillar of reality. It brings peace to my effed up life. As long as I dream, nothing bad can happen, can it? Ivy! Ivy! Where is she? She must have gone downstairs to get that breakfast. But why didn't she wake me up? I don't know, dude. I'd better find her. Leave. Um... Okay, she's not out here. This one is quite ugly, actually. In different circumstances, I would probably quite like this painting. It shows these strange, faceless people standing in the water waist deep. I wonder what story the artist was trying to tell by that. I like it, but Ivy would never let me put it up in our house. A piece of toast? I have a piece of toast. Okay. I have a piece of toast breakfast tray. There's nothing there that I could use, and I'm certainly not cleaning it up. Okay. No one answers. Wait, she said she was going to the dining... What? Good morning. 
Did you sleep well? It's nice to see you, Mr. Davis. Um, I'm wondering about the bodies, but where's my wife? Oh, she wanted me to pass the message. She said she'd take breakfast upstairs for you. Didn't you get your breakfast, Mr. Davis? No, I didn't. She couldn't. I haven't seen her since last night. Well, she also met your neighbor, Sophie. They left the dining room together. Ah, that's Sophie. She's quite a charmer. A big lady. But she's definitely got that special something. What? They seem to have hit it off quite well. I'd assume they're together in Sophie's room now, talking. I didn't want to say anything at the time, but... But what? Hmm, our Sophie isn't exactly the best person to make friends with. I don't get it. Are you saying that this woman can hurt my wife? Well, I never said it. Sophie can be a bit weird. She's had a difficult life, you know. But she's really sweet. I don't think anything bad could happen, but... But what? I really don't want to say it, but I will if you insist. Tell me. Well, the last time she invited someone to her room, I had to pick that poor girl's pieces off the floor for three days. That's not good. Do you know how hard it is to wash the blood off these carpets? You're a creepy lady. You stupid... You should have told me that earlier. Why didn't you warn her? You should have stopped them. That's true. You should have done something. I'm sorry, Mr. Davis. I don't like to get involved. You. I'm just choosing this because I would probably end up actually saying this. If anything happened to Ivy, I'll find you, you twisted... Screwed up person. You're a bit too much in my face, Mr. Davis. I don't like when people spit on me. But I've got something for you. Your wife asked me to give you this letter. Take it, Mr. Davis. I heard you shouting last night, you know. Relationship problems? Oh dear, I hope it's nothing serious. Okay, that lady's crazy. But I think everyone here is crazy. And there's a bunch of dead people. And what? And fish? Okay, we have fish now. You want fish? I can't use the fish with the bodies. Okay. Well, alright. You never know. Alright. It's locked. They're all dead. 
Oh, okay, I missed that. They're all dead. What happened here? And why are they all wearing those creepy masks? Hmm. I don't know. That's a very interesting question, dude. What? So that's the weird cat that eats keys. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, don't go outside. Would you like a fish? Hmm, the cat doesn't look interested at all. Okay. Oh, you gotta be kidding. I gotta give him my key? Wait. I've got something for you. Come and taste it. Got you. Now let's talk about that bloody key. We got the cat. Okay. We gotta go back. She said she went upstairs. Oh my... No. This can't be. No. God, please. Not her. This is bad. Is it Ivy's blood? I don't know. Breakfast. Effing breakfast. There's a large knife on the tray. I might find it useful if one of those freaks wants to attack me. Probably. Was it the bed? Oh. I saw Ivy going to sleep on this bed. Now it's cold and empty. I don't eat breakfast. Oh, okay. I guess there's no. I think I'm gonna skip a bath today. Yeah, we're a little bit busy. Well, viewers, that's about it for this episode. Like and favorite if you liked it. Comment and subscribe to find out what happens next. I'll see you guys next time. Joe, are we home yet? Where are we? Joe? They're coming. They're coming for you. Come on, Ivy. Just get out of the car, alright? But Joe, can't you see what's happening? We're falling down. Falling into the endless space. Like drops of blood. It's alright, Ives. I'm going to find a doctor very soon. 
at least as soon as I find a way out of this town. There's got to be someone in this hotel. Maybe we'll stay for the night and call the doctor. It's raining blood, Joe. How beautiful. Come with me, Ivy. They might be able to help us. I have blood all over my dress, Joe. What will I do? My dear, dear dress. Do you think it's okay if I just lay down? And move character using keyboard arrows by a Nice. Some areas like doors, etc. can only be accessed by clicking on them. Left mouse buttons and rack walk my mouse button examine. Okay. Yep. Stop. Car. I cannot leave now. Okie doke. Quiet Haven Hotel. That name is familiar. Okay. Garden. There's a small garden at the back of the hotel. Hey viewers, it's Dave Osity, and we are here with Downfall. Um, this is a not very well-known game, but um, this is actually the first game that uh, the same creator who created the Cat Lady, um, he made this game, and it was a few years ago, I think. Um, I don't know, I have to look it up, but... This story actually involves two of the characters that are in the Cat Lady, uh, Joe and Ivy Davis, so um, I don't want to spoil anything in the Cat Lady, but if you guys remember Joe Davis, he's a pretty uh, <laughs> interesting character in the, in, the, in the game, to say the least, and uh, I believe the events in this game take place before the Cat Lady, so... Um, we get to find out perhaps exactly why Joe is the way he is and what actually happened to Ivy. So, um, yeah, there's no dialogue, um, there's no voiceovers in this game, it's all text. Um, so, my commentary for this game will be a little different. I'm, I'm not actually going to be doing uh, very much commentary. I may comment uh, probably at the beginning or maybe at the end of each episode. I'm not sure. But um, I'll just be basically reading out the dialogue to you as I go through the game. So let's do this. Great. The storm is coming. So you're telling me I can't buy cigarettes here? That's ridiculous. I thought all hotels sell them. And now in that storm, I won't even find any shop still open. I'm really sorry. We have a specific smoking policy and it's not allowed on the premises. Whoa, screw your policy. 
I'm a paying customer. I will check out in the morning and find a better hotel. Um, one that sells cigarettes if guests run out. I hope you sleep well tonight. Okay. Well, she's upset. 